Alright, today we're going to be doing a deck tech for a tiny leader's deck of Doran the Siege Tower. Um, whenever I first wanted to buy Doran, I was trying to use Puka Trade to get him, and no one wanted to trade him to me. He was worth $7 or $5. Now just regular Doran's up to 12 and I just can't seem to get a hold of one no matter where I look. All the shops are sold out. And if I want a prettier Doran, he's even more expensive. So I'm using this proxied one. Um, I saw this picture online and I just loved it a lot. Groot the Siege Tower is probably the best. Uh, and the Mana Source has an altered art series where they talked about this particular bit of art. And even the letters, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, they're all... I'll try and focus. Yeah, they just kind of, they, they make the letters look real grungy. They... You know, even all, all the numbers, everything. So that's really cool. I like this. I like this altar a lot. So I printed that out and put it to size and all that. So that's that's my that's my tiny leader, Doran. Um, when I first saw this, for some reason, my mind was like, let's make a wall deck. And I made a bunch of walls, and then I got stomped by an actual Doran deck, which is just super aggro because th what it is is it's just like um, it's just a bunch of of creatures that are super ridiculously fast. Like, uh, what it is, is... The problem is, creatures should only have a certain amount of versatility, right? If you're paying, you know, one mana, you should be getting a 1-1. One, one. You know, that's just that's just the, basically how it goes. You might get a 1-2 out of it. Um, Doran says, no way. He, he doesn't like that. Doran has a ridiculous versatility where now you get, you know, a 1-drop... 3-3, three, three. you get one drop 2-2, two, two. so like, if every spell in the deck is a Zergo Bell Striker, if every creature in the deck is a Zergo Bell Striker, then you're gonna win, like, that's just, you know, um, now granted, you do have to keep in mind that this is a format with every card in the game, so you, 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 you run against some crazy stuff, but, you know, Yoke Docks is, is just a really ridiculously good card, um, if it seems like I'm ranting, it's because I'm trying to get these organized. I, I wasn't prepared, I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, uh, I've not got a sideboard ready for this yet. It's just because I'm not sure what all needs to go in it. I, I, you know, obviously I think I've got the aggro creatures down pat, but there's a couple more I'm sure that I could find. And then also, uh, you know, uh, removal spells. So I'll probably throw in a couple, you know, erase-like things, but I've got an erase in the deck, so... Alright, first things first, mana base, you know how I roll now. Um, so, we don't have many basic lands, I think we've just got one of each of the three for Doran, and then the rest are non-basic, and they're all, we might have a couple forests. Nope, that's it. Alright, so, one of each, because 